video and for some seconds I've just reflected on the friends that I know and things that happen around me on some of my friends and come on some of the discussion that we've been having lately I mean of course most of us in the UK we know that everything in this country is actually shared okay we work very hard like we're out in the morning we come back late some of us have second jobs and in this country, it's more like we share everything with our husband. Everything. Like the house rent, the school fees, the feeding, everything. It's even hard for a man to remember to give you money. So imagine you being married in that condition where the home is being jointly kept you do not have a house of your own, like you've not bought your own house. Men in the UK need to understand that this kind of behavior is unacceptable. And I was, you know, when I when I when I saw this video, and I was chatting with a friend of mine, and she was like, you know what? They don't give you money for anything. Like for you to even get money for hair. I'm not talking about I'm talking, most Nigerian men in the UK. It's just only a few of them that are different. Do you understand? You kind of like have to beg for hair. Now, if they even buy clothes for you, they don't even. Let's even be, let's, let's, let's be realistically real, realistic, okay? They don't take care of you. So is you working, taking care of yourself, helping in the house and in the home, and then these bastards, Feel that they can go outside and have a side chick. How dear them. You know, it's, oh my God. Listen, let, let me tell you something. I think at a point in life, we need to start having a little bit of hard love and, you know, knowing that we are worth more than what we are getting in the UK. If it's in Nigeria, and a man wants to have a side chick. At least they don't go pay house rent now. They're not going to pay children's school fees now. At least most of the things in the house they will take care of. Yeah, you can have... You've, you've taken care of your home. You have taken care of your family. Now, so imagine being in the UK with a husband. They call, let me just call them deadbeat hunter. Because a man that have time to be having side chick can be going leaving their house is either not working full time either telling you that he's going to work and he's going somewhere else is either lying to the woman that he's not bringing enough money at home he's depending on your money so if that's that's just it any man in the uk that's focused in his home and actually is progressive is thinking about buying a house is thinking about businesses ideas that man doesn't have time for side chick to be found because there's, there's no money. This place is so taxed, like everything that you earn is like taxed so much that you don't have extra money for a woman outside, for, for, for loose women outside. You don't have that kind of money. So any man, yeah, that actually keeps a side chick, a side chick in this country, that man is actually not doing enough. And I blame you, UK women. I blame you. 
They will brainwash your brain and tell you how you are living over though you bo, you know, you have to, you have to share everything. We have to do everything, but they are busy. They are busy having side chick, having rendezvous with women, sending money home to women in Nigeria, paying house rent for women in Nigeria. Actually, having baby mamas at home that they are paying their school fees for. While you are here, suffering, hair you can make, clothes you can buy, nails you can do, holiday you cannot go. Because you are, you are being a supportive wife. Guys, 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 guys. It's about time we, we think and rethink and be a little bit focused on ourselves. Because these guys are taking the meek out of us, seriously. They are actually, we are letting them just be, you know, just be useless. Because that's what it is. That's what we're letting them be. They are using our head. And to be frank with you, why would you go and fight the side chick? The guy is not worth it. Look at yourself. Look at the side chick now. Look at yourself. You are much more plump than her. You are slimmer than her. You are funner than her. And you are taking your, 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 like, like, your, how would I say it? The useless man that you are married to fights outside to a woman that is beneath you. Guys, let me tell you something here. Eh? We need to start thinking about other ways to get them back. Um, Frank, we really need to. See, let me tell you. African culture. We know about African culture. The man takes care of the home. Yeah? Good. The man, if they want to be, if they want to do African culture in the UK, if they want to have side cheek in the UK, if they want to behave like an African man, don't do anything in the house. Have side cheek. You know, then it's about time you leave that responsibility that they are supposed to be doing for them. Stop paying the house rent when it comes to their school fees. Let them provide the, the food. Let them pay for everything. Give you your, your pocket money. They won't be African man in the UK. Then they should start acting like African men. I'm telling you. Because this nonsense, they cannot do it if they are married to a white woman. We all know that. We all know that this rubbish will not happen if they are married to a white woman. We take the crap. We take the bullshit. Come on. Are we that desperate to be married? That we take nothing from men that actually, we might be even better off in the UK because we don't want to be lonely. Guys, 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 guys. See, at this point here, my advice to you, any woman out there, tell your children what is happening. Let them be aware. This is not time to start hiding things. Though. Tell them. Start telling them. Because the only thing that we are scared of in this country is loneliness at old age. But if your children are aware of how your scumbag husband has been treating you, my dear, they will have your back. There's no time to cover things up. Let your children even be the one fighting the battle for you. When you get to that stage whereby your children know that their dad is a scumbag, then you have won the battle. Stop hiding things. Stop, stop. No, they, ain't, no. they need to be aware. I'm telling you, don't go fighting the side chick. Fight her. No, no. Don't bring. See now, men don't arrest you. Your story don't go. The man and the side chick, they, they'll be laughing now. Isn't it? Uh-huh. So that is it. Listen, sometimes, eh, just don't say anything to them. Be silent. Be silent. Just allow them and their mumu. They want to be mumu. Allow them and their mumu while you are preparing for your future. Don't let any man use your head. Especially UK men. <laughs> Most of them are, to be frank with you, they're not even what you Fighting over with another woman? No, they are not what? None of them, which, which Nigerian men in the UK? The same money that you are making, you are, they are making. Yeah, sometimes you even make more than them. Sometimes they're even more respecting. Them. Oh, guys, to be frank with you, this story is, you know, I'm, I'm dealing, I'm, 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 it just, it just, it just rekindled, you know, some of the things that, you know, piss me off when I, you know, talk to women in the UK and the things they are going through. And I'm talking and it's, it's actually the same thing happening.
African men who are not doing enough at home feeling that they can practice ethnic Africanism in the UK. Guys, if you want to be an African man in the UK, be African man in the UK. Take your fucking responsibility. And then we can talk. Okay? Now you can you can have all the psychic you want, but at least I have my money bagged. You compare yourself to the video and that Ned Moke, but you are you don't have money. Money you know gets. Yeah? Even if you have money, you don't even have brain. Most times, the men in this country, we actually help them to be something. We, women, we are the ones that coach them, help them. And then a, a, a man they will disrespect you with side chick. And you're going to fight. Going to, you, now wait, you carry your leg, go side chick house, go fight. Don't you know that the men will arrest you? You're the one now that trespassed you, the one that went looking for her now. Now you then go arrest. Don't, don't ever do that. Don't, don't, don't bring yourself that low. No man is what that. No, to be frank, no man is what that. Seriously. If it's Nigeria, eh, eh, even in Nigeria, no, 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 you no, you go do the fight. There are people that can sort you out, sort them, them, sell them out. Now to send money. No, the ones in Nigeria that is easier for you to deal with them. It's just your one million that will sort them out. Just one million, it will sort it out for you. Seriously. But the ones in the UK fight them. No, 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 no. Even the woman where you the fight, I'm telling you, the only women, I'm telling you, women that will even be doing this, yeah, are women, if you look at them, they are not what you, they are not. Any responsible woman in the UK that is working, that is making her money, don't have time to be anybody's side chick. <laughs> anybody's side chick, eh? If they want to have benefit, they can, you know, they can, you know, do whatever they want and move on. And it's about time we start thinking about it. If women want cheat, we're not going to even know. We're going to do one cold dead. You will not know. That's the funny thing. These guys think they're smart. They are not. Oh, if women start their own cheating, we're not going to know. We're going to even give on a baby. We're not going to know. <laughs> so let's let's just be guided. You see this size wahala <laughs> as a woman. Don't stain your white. No man is worth it. That's my take on this story. I don't know what you guys think. Drop your comment. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Please drop your comment. I would like to know what you think about what's going on in the UK where African men actually feel that they want to be African men in the UK. But then they expect the women to be European women or British women. Can you imagine? You cannot have your cake or eat your cake and have it. Or is it have your cake? I don't even know which one again. Guys, just drop your comments.